Hey Vortex, I wish that you could see the tremendous amount of effort that I have made to hoist you upon this tripod that doesn't even work. A lot of the time I can't talk. I know that this is a problem that a lot of people have even though they keep talking even though they suck at it. Um, <laughs> I have this problem as well, but I am well aware of it. But um, this tripod was actually uh, this tripod was actually for another camera that got stolen in the Wendy's bathroom. Anyone that's familiar with my previous channels knows about this incident that I whined about, like the little girl that I was back then. Not that I'm not still a little girl today. In a lot of ways, I can't grow up. No, it's funny. Not wearing that seatbelt. Um, look at this, you guys. so cute. It's a pot. Um. <laughs> yeah, so I still have this tripod though. And I was thinking, you know, even if this camera doesn't, it won't fit on it, but I can still uh, use the electrical tape. And uh, that's what I've done. And hopefully it won't fall, but I have a feeling that it might. But we'll see what happens. Okay. So, I brought my keyboard. And, uh, I am going to, uh, play some music and drive around. And I hope that you guys enjoy it. You might not, though. No promises. This computer, or this this computer, this keyboard, it's all the same, isn't it? Um, okay, hold on one second. happened. Okay. <laughs> there we go. How about freaked out? It's like, what happened to my keyboard? <laughs> anyway. Oh, see, knew that was shit was gonna happen. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Um, this is the problem with the DIY approach. <laughs> yeah. Well, hold on. We can fix this at the gas station. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to go to the gas station. Hold on one second. Because I'm not doing this the whole way home. I'm just not. This is way too much work. And if I'm going to be playing music... Because I was going to set you um, on top of uh, my dashboard, is it? But the problem with that is that it has what I call an Aronofsky effect. And the Aronofsky effect makes the camera shake. And I don't want you guys to throw up. So, because I'm such a good vlogger, I'm such an amazing, profound,
caring YouTuber that I'm going to take additional time to fix you Vortex. I'm gonna fix you. You know what you should do is like, put stuff around the tripod so it can't move. That would be a lot smarter. frustrating now. This is all for you, Vortex. It's all for you. I think it's all right. Let's let's see. Let's see what happens. All right, let's keep going. You're a really bad driver too. Okay, that's good so far. That's an interesting little setup you got. Yeah. Let's see if I'm gonna have to. Oh, this this will this will give me a sit up straight. There you go. Is it cutting me off? We'll see what happens. Now, if only you had a self-driving car, right? What is the point of a self-driving car? Anybody that gets that, God, I have no respect for you. I have no respect for you. You have no integrity at all if you get a self-driving car. I'm just telling you, like, the really cool thing about having a car is like being independent and doing things on your own, you know? So, Having a car that drives itself, first of all, that's really weird and creepy. Because how do you know that the car, like, what if it has a mind of its own and it, like, it, it takes you somewhere terrible, you know? That's what I would be thinking. But I realize that the majority of the human race does not think like me because that would require, like, a little bit of skepticism about everything that they put in our face, hoping that we'll buy it, hoping that we don't see through it, you know? Anyway. Yeah, yeah, you should. I think this is a good idea, though. This is this is the trial run. Okay, this is the trial run. So do not expect much. All right. We're gonna end it now. We're gonna start over.